guys, it's Queen BJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 9 of The Millionaire Detective. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. So now what? This feels like you guys are back at square one. You have to! I mean, and also, y'all lost two very important people to this freaking case. Because whoever freaking came and killed them last week, like, mm, they killed them. They brutally murdered these two. Like, oh my god. They probably, like, tortured the crap out of them last week, and we're never going to be able to see it. But, um, I mean, they got killed like any kind of person in a horror film gets killed. So... Mm. That's fucked up. That's really fucked up. I mean, uh. But I get the fact that, yes, Nice Kid doesn't want to solve this case as a detective because, yes, it is a family member uh, matter, but at the same time, it's still a case. This is hard. What if it's just somebody who looks like his dad? I, I, uh, I have no clue. But he doesn't want to work with you guys. So then he might have everything. Mm hmm. He fought. But this isn't fair. Plus, there's no video in the freaking house because <laughs> he disabled everything. Yeah. 
color. Yeah, because we all know he died. But still, you should have told him. Act two. That's a distraction. They just go and walk. And hold on tight, too, because if they move... <laughs> what is it? Of course, you wouldn't believe him. Yeah, but you know, I don't know. I, something tells me. I mean, he, he has to be alive. Like, even the mom said some fish. His grandmother said something. So come on, I believe his dad's alive.
been through this. Yeah, but I don't think that would make him have a grudge for him. Maybe pity him, but not be pissed at him for so many years up until he died. It's the only way he's going to have closure. I still wish he wasn't doing this on his own. He's being so hard-headed and reckless. Exactly. Don't do this. Don't open that. See? Didn't we just say, don't open the car door. You open the car door and then, mm, smoke. Of course, because they're too powerful. God. Of course, there would be nothing in there. Of course. Love 
forever. Okay, see, at least they're not going in by themselves. Okay, it's just them two. They got backup. But, like, oh, God. This might be another episode where Haro might hesitate with his gun. If he gets a gun again. Oh. <laughs> of course, everybody will do it. Free money. Harvard. Try is your keyword. You let him go in by himself. the party. See, now the question is, okay, there's Hari. Being a hard head. <laughs> He just shit he jam everything. Oh my god. Oh. 
always one step ahead of y'all. Oh. Why? Because you want to kill your own son? <laughs> oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? It was getting so good. And then it's like, no. Cliffhanger! I really thought Haru was gonna take a shot. Because, I mean, come on, let, let's think about what was it? Episode 2, 2, 3? Where we had the first flashback of him? And him being afraid to take a shot again. And I love the fact that they brought it back again because it felt like, yes, we were going to go into an episode where, yes, he was going to have to take another shot at somebody. And still, yes, he still hesitates. I'm okay with that. But still, oh God, you can't get it done in like two episodes. But we got two episodes left before we're done with the show. And I just need, I need Haru to be... I need his redemption arc. You gave me part one with the train episode and the kid that he was, you know, talking to in Ish. This is part two, and maybe next week is part three, which could be the ending of his redemption arc and to where he can finally shoot without hesitating. Even though, yes, that gun that the girl had in her hands from two years ago was a toy. Now, oh my god. Is it, it okay? Is Taisuke's dad going to explain, like, what happened that night with him? Because, see, that's what I need. That's what closure is to me. I mean, you're, if, if we get into next week, and if Daisuke's father does not explain what all happened that night, and we go into episode 11 still not knowing what happened that night, I'm going to be hella pissed. Because, I, I mean, that's the context. Because we still need to know who killed his mom. Because, yes... When Darcy came home, he did see his father over his mom's body with a knife in his hand. But my thing is, I don't think he did it. Why would he want to kill his own wife for whatever reason? I mean, the last time you saw these two together, they had a bad argument with not only um, the husband and the wife, but also his... Uh, Daisuke's grandmother and Daisuke being in the room, even though nobody saw Daisuke because he was hiding behind the stairs. But still, like, ugh. Would that be enough to kill your own wife? I mean, mm. Really kind of think about that. I mean, I've watched a couple of crime docu documentaries about when it is a significant other, husband or wife, killing the uh, significant other. And usually it's because of something. I, I always really can't remember what they usually are, but... It, to me, it, it doesn't seem that important, but to them, it seems like the biggest thing in the world. I don't think it would have been, like, because they, he or she cheated on him or something. But it, it, it's something. But if he didn't do it, who killed her? So, that's why I need that context of what the heck happened that night when Daisuke was on his way home. After being gone for like what who knows how many hours and ish because something else happened. Maybe there's like a recorded message. The fact that Cho had like ish with the die, I never would have thought that. Like, mm. but still, I, I need contacts on that ish. Like, I just I wish what they also did with this episode, especially with um Cho and What's Her Face. 
going against Daisuke's father. We got to see a little bit more of that. I mean, I'm glad that they showed him because in my opinion, I was thinking, okay, these two, they're not really going to put up as much of a fight. I think maybe um, Daisuke's dad was just going to immediately kill them and kind of torture them is to get information out of them. But no, they fought until the bitter end. And that's what I really like them like about them because those two characters, they were still important to both Haru and Daisuke. And even though they weren't in the show as much, but once like the the funny episodes ish wackiness came out, and we finally got into an arc where it was very like different from the previous first few episodes we got, because I assumed that this show was going to be um, not wacky, but like really have a lot of more funny, subtle esque yaoi, even though it still does have the yaoi up in it, because everybody does ship the crap out of it. In horror, like so much um, <laughs> to the point where it's not even funny but once we got into the point that we were getting where we started this arc I was like oh this ain't the same show anymore this is a completely different show these characters are gonna be like this is really gonna change them and the fact that it dealt with Daisuke's family because we barely really knew anything about him because he's so freaking mysterious but like oh my god just ugh. I just need Haru to take the shot next week. Not for only himself, but for Daisuke. That's all I need. Contacts, please. I'm just saying. Like, mmm. Just give it to me. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 9 <clears throat> of The Millionaire Detective. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 10. Bye, guys.